Sabaha everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I have for you a review of some unique cases that I got from Olixar. Uh, this is a, an X-Ranger case that has a multi-tool built into it. Yeah, uh, I mean, I'm talking screwdrivers, can openers, wrenches, things like that inside of a case for your iPhone or even your regular phone with one of the options they sent me. Let's check it out. So here is the iPhone 10, and as I mentioned to you guys, they do include a case for it. So the case itself, let's go ahead and take it out here. I went ahead and connected them. The tool, this is the actual tool itself. Uh, the case is actually very nice, and the tool does get housed directly inside the case. You can pop it up right here and pull the tool right at the bottom. Just be aware there is some sharp edges. Uh, the case is a single piece. It's a blue, a kind of blue cover on the back with some textures. And of course, you have the uh, TPU inside for the phone. Just insert your phone, it just pops in as usual. Again, this is a standard Alexar case. Uh, yeah, didn't mean to do that. Uh, we have access to the uh, casing directly here in the back as far as just the power button, the uh, toggle, the volume, as well as the cameras, and there's no coverage on there and no issues. Yeah, the Siri button and the power button, although it's marked as power, it's not really a power button, but either way. Um, on the top, what we have here is just nothing. On the bottom, we have the opening, and then of course, that little door, as I'm showing you guys, of course. Uh, this door kind of works on two things. You can use it to be able to prop it so it becomes a stand. Uh, you can also prop it in the other position so you can actually have it stand up if you want as a device. Or, of course, keep it as an open kit door to be able to house this multi-tool. So the multi-tool fits all the way in, flush, close it, you hear that snap, and you're pretty much set. Now, I'm sure you want to see if this thing actually still works with wireless charging. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on, on the charger. So you notice right there. Now, this one is without the multi-tool. There's no metal in the back. So let's go ahead and put the multi-tool back in, snap it on. Okay, so just as a heads up, uh, it does lose wireless charging whenever you have the multi-tool in it. Because I think what it does, that metal metal portion of the multi-tool stops and blocks all signals going through to the actual wireless charging pad in the middle. So just keep that in mind. If you're going to be using it for wireless charging, take it out of this case. But other than that, I think it works very, very nice. And there's no issues at all with the iPhone 10. Here is the iPhone 7 Plus. Uh, it's very comparable to the size of the iPhone uh, 8 Plus. It's exactly the same dimensions from the actual uh, device. So I've had this and I've done other videos where I've done the size comparison for you guys. But uh, using it with this case, this case is a little different. You get this little non-slip area here, the textures in the back, the opening for the cameras. Again, we have the same door at the bottom. The phone should slide in very simply, just one, two, three, and it is in right away. It should also be comparable to use it with any kind of glass protector as it doesn't cover the screen entirely. All the buttons and all the ports are uh, open. Now, we don't have wireless charging on this version, but the iPhone 8 Plus does have wireless charging. And as I showed you guys with the other phone, with the iPhone 10, without the actual tool inside, you're not gonna have any problems while it's charging it. The stand works perfectly fine. You can use it in portrait mode or you can have it stand up. Uh, although I'm thinking, yeah, it's not so stable on, on the bigger size. I, definitely it's more heavy on the top. So if you open up the back, you'll notice right there, uh, we have the can opener, we have uh, the, the peeler right there, uh, different wrenches, different screw, uh, different uh, hooks here, as well as uh, what it looks like. This is a bottle opener, a sharp edge, a screwdriver, and then of course you have this uh, another screwdriver here. So this is a Phillips, this is a flathead. The last thing is they did provide me one for the iPhone 7 and iPhone uh, iPhone 7 and iPhone 8, but I unfortunately don't have those devices. I do have an iPhone 6. Uh, but as far as the actual tool itself, you don't need to have a case that's made for your phone. You could use this option, which is their uh, third option that they provided me. And this is essentially a small pocket, an adhesive pocket that you can mount to the back of your case and your device. And you'll be able to basically house one of their tools, multi-tools. Again, same thing. You put it in and slide it on the side of the back of the, you, your unit. And it works really nice. Now, the way, one thing you want to be aware of, obviously, is they do give you the clean pads, clean the surface, and then you, uh, peel this little sticker and then stick it to the back of your phone. And then you have it there. And then, of course, a little bit of a rubber band here to be able to add maybe currency or a credit card so that it becomes multifunctional. I think the way they did this is very unique and it's very ingenious. It's very small. I've seen this tool before a long time ago, actually. It's nothing new. But to embed it inside of a case that thin, that slim is very nice. Uh, be aware, though, on the 8 Plus and the, uh, and the 10, if you want wireless charge, take the tool out it's not going to work with it uh, but other than that I think you're going to be fine also if you are traveling uh, be aware there may be some restrictions on this and when you're traveling in the 
airport. So you may have to check the multi-tool in your backpack, in your suitcase into the check luggage as opposed to keeping that on you as you may have some problems since it has some sharp edges. It's not a knife, but it definitely has a sharp edge. So uh, be careful when you're doing that. Other than that, of course, like and subscribe as usual. Thank you to Alexar for sharing with me the X-Ranger uh, style cases, uh, as well as the ability to actually put this on one of, you know, one of your other cases separately. Uh, and, you know, share. Thank you very much for the support on the, on the channel here. We're growing. We're growing really fast. So like and subscribe as usual. See you guys in the next video and hope you're having a good time.